The most important part, I think, is um, to find yourself in it. Uh, I think uh, you have to uh, remember that um, to make it your own. And um, I can't be any Katrina Sadeline or uh, any of the teachers in here, but I can be me. So I get all this information, all these tools, and then I use them uh, from my experience, from uh, the way I would express myself and so on. Um, and then I know that everything I say I do and do is, uh, is correct anatomically and with the research and everything. Uh, but to make it your own and um, to always remember to go back to make music, to make wonderful music that expresses something. It's not just technique, it's about communicating and having something you want to share in your heart. Uh, what is so beautiful about the voice is that I'm the only one that have my voice. I'm the only one that have my anatomics. I'm the only one who have the experiences and the kind of emotions and history uh, that I have in my luggage. And when I express a song, uh, I'm the only one that can do it my way. And um, why be somebody else if uh, you're so good at being yourself? What is interesting is that uh, everybody have their own taste. And if um, we as teachers were teaching people taste, then probably a lot of singers would just sound the same. But what is amazing uh, with this uh, place and this technique is that it's like Lego. You can just combine your own sound. And I always imagine that it's like if, if, I, if I was a painter and I had all these colors those are the different things that we teach here, but then what you choose as a singer to put on your, your uh, canvas is uh, your own decision, that's your taste. If you wanna mix blue and red, maybe I would never have been mixing those colors, but that's your favorite ones. And then that's your picture, it's your song, it's your style. And then you get all kinds of uh, beautiful variation in the sound and in the singers, in the, in the artistic expression. Nobody told me this road it would be easy, but I don't believe no. He brought me this far to leave me. We have to be trained as teachers from this institute in dealing with famous people, with really bad singers, with panic singers, with the uh, uh, depressed singers, with the um, very hyper singers with the very skilled singers, very uh, brand new singers, all kinds of levels, all kinds of ages, all kinds of cultures, um, and all kinds of issues, problems, uh, whatever sound they want to learn. And I feel really, really equipped to do that. And also, um, there are times where I can say, you know, we don't know that yet. The research haven't come that far, so there are some things I can't answer. But uh, I know what I know, and uh, I will try and do my best. And now I have the tools uh, to teach all kinds of singers and all kinds of music styles, all kinds of learning types. Uh, they don't have to be my style of music or my kind of person or my learning type. Uh, I have learned to uh, to um, to change, so I can uh, scan and find out what kind of learning type is this, what kind of a singer is this, and what are the tools uh, for this kind of uh, singer. And uh, that's very, very um, wonderful to have. It gives me uh, uh, much more success as a vocal teacher, and it gives me possibility to teach any kind of singer. <laughs> I have 
a bad day where I'm tired or uh, I feel a little bit ill and I have to sing anyway, then I know good tools to sing anyway. But um, but I was already singing a lot and knew a lot of the things before I came here, but now I know how to teach it and I know what to do if something is not working one day because, you know, you're tired or your voice is getting a cold or something, then I know little tricks to, to get things to work anyway. So that's the biggest help for me as a singer I experienced in here. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Promise me nothing.